Alex, my name is Geeky Gamer, and welcome everybody to episode 14 of the Pokemon Definitely Brilliant Diamond and Definitely Shining Pearl Soul Link versus with my boy Gizmo GX. Now, uh, before this episode gets started, I just wanted to say something real fast. This is actually the second time we ended up recording this episode, and there is a very good reason for that that I also talk about a little bit in the episode, but I wanted to clarify what happened here. So, um, what happened was, I was approaching the end of a route, and I accidentally ran into a double battle. And believe it or not, this double battle had Yuxi and a Cresselia on the team. Now, obviously, a whole bunch of things are randomized, so the Cresselia could be anything. It could be like a Magikarp, you know, it's a legendary status doesn't mean anything, right? Well, uh, and I have like a print club that's like twice its level, right? So it's like, okay, this is fine. I might lose a singular Pokemon, maybe, but I have print club, so it's fine. Well, as it turns out, both of the Pokemon are not only extremely defensive, but Cresselia, I actually did some calcs after this, uh, Cresselia, turns out, it has Ember, which in this, for, with this, in this randomized game, Ember is not only a Grass-type move, which is super effective on Primplup, it's not only 150 base power, which is insanity, but Cresselia also would have had a base stat total of around 130, me and Gizmo found out. And, uh, long story short, a couple of unfortunate crits killed me. So, it was very, very sad times. And I ended up losing the entire battle. I got completely wiped. Now, Gizmo and I decided that it wasn't worth trying to, like, re-randomize everything. So, we decided, you know what? We're gonna do the same thing that we did back in Season 3. And have that episode that we recorded as a death episode. And that'll be going up on, uh, whoever does not get the final, uh, video. Which I can't remember. Uh, Gizmo, if you have time, uh, put it here, I guess. I don't know. Or we'll put it in the comments once we figure it out. But anyways, yes, so there you go. We'll be doing that. So this is a not our first rodeo through this segment until I get past the Cresselia and until Gizmo gets past whatever he was at, you know, in episode 14. You guys get it. Oh, and I think I also took a 10-minute penalty as well for losing, which is also what I did back in the Fire Red Leaf Green version, I believe. I took like a 10-minute uh, break. Might have been 15, somewhere around there. I say it in the video, so there you go. Anyways, without any further ado, though, I think that'll be it. Hope you guys are enjoying the series thus far. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys have been enjoying the past few, several episodes, and I hope you guys enjoy the future episodes, because trust me when I say, this series gets wild. Anyways, that'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy. Blah! What's up, baby? I'm hoping not to get swept by a Cresselia today that has base 130 special attack probably in this game. We'll hey. talk about that when we actually get started with the video. But uh, yeah, as I said before in the beginning of the video, uh, yeah, we lost. Uh, this is our second time recording this. I can actually catch this encounter this time once Gizmo makes it out of the tower slash five minutes is up. You guys get it. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, that's gonna be my punishment. It's gonna be a rough one, but we'll make it work. Honestly, it could have been a lot worse, so I'm okay. True, it could have uh, gotten a lot I'm ready worse. To go when you are. So also, it, it could have gotten a lot worse. But also, before we start off with the the verses, if you guys have not checked out the last episode, it was on Goki's channel. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Subscribe to him if you haven't yeah, already. And yeah, yeah. so with that, Alrighty. Goki, are you ready? Uh, you let's do ready? it. On three, it. two, one. Let's get moving. Go! Well, you right, stay so, still, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I stay still. So actually, um, do you, so I know like we failed the encounter last time because I one shot it with an Octazooka. Should yeah. I try to catch it this? Should, is it? Do you think I should try to catch it this time? Uh, I mean, be, keep in mind this is your Articuno pair. <laughs> this is the pair with um, Articuno. So I was doing research on the Articuno. I was just comparing it to its original stats, like same nature mm -hmm. and everything, level nineteen, and it was yeah. pretty high. I'm not gonna lie. Really? I mean. Even though its special attack is lower than what it originally is, but still, like, its HP uh -huh. defenses are way higher than normal. So I say, uh -huh. on my defense, it's a, it's a pretty good... It's a pretty okay. good... Okay. I mean, w. either or, I'm okay with it, because it's either this thing or Wormadam, and honestly, neither I, neither one are really going to do much for me, so... Gotcha. You'd have to get rid of Mr. Mime, though. I know, I know, but it's a backup pair. It's a backup pair, because okay. I have a feeling cool, cool. that you might lose Baka at some point. Okay, so, frick you. <laughs> to uh, you be know, fair, that, actually, to be fair, you're kind of correct. You're kind of correct there. I, um, I'm, I'm trying my very best. Also, Goki. So by the time we are uh, uh, recording this episode, the uh, Pokemon Direct. Uh, yeah. Just went oh yeah. Live. So for those of you who don't know, the Pokemon Direct, the August Pokemon Direct was was today. 
where you've got to see the first uh, few new regional Pokemon forms, the some more stuff in the Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and all that fun stuff. But uh, actually, before we do that, well, actually, yeah. I, I, I will talk about the Cresselia stuff later. The Cresselia stuff, man, that was so stupid, man. You but could anyways, just that's, talk that's about You could talk about that. You might. <laughs> that. I'll, I'll probably talk about it when we talk about the the death when I talk about the death video at the beginning. Second, I'll probably talk about it in the beginning segment. And talk about how the Cresselia we did we literally did. Oh, you know what? Oh, frick, I'm talking about it now. Yeah, do we it, do it, do it. literally did calcs last night, right? I did calcs based on the level that I was at. Not only would Cresselia have to have had a very high special attack, like base 130 mm -hmm. level high, but also Ember would have to be like a base 150 power move in order to for a crit to kill me. Or it's something like that. It would have to be an extremely powerful move as well as extremely powerful stats. That is insane. I got such bad luck against a Cresselia. Like, if I ever get a Cresselia in this game, Gizmo is basically dead. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. It's so True. stupid. True. It's so stupid, dude. But they don't randomize I'm the stats, do they? I'm curious if I ever get they? Ember, I want to see what it does. I want to see what, how good Ember is. And but it's either Grass... I got bad luck that was super effective. I got bad luck that was such a powerful move. I got bad luck that the uh, Cresselia outsped me. I got bad luck that Cresselia was that powerful, and I got bad luck because of a crit. But don't the stats, like... They don't change from Mon to Mon, or it stays the same though. I don't remember if we randomized so, that. So the way it worked, the way well, we randomized the base stats. Normally, so, Cresselia has me normally Cresselia has mediocre special attack, but in this game it has like OP special attack. Oh, basically. okay. So like, let's say for example, my Meowth right now with Wonder Guard. If I, I mean my Persia with Wonder Guard, <laughs> if um, yeah. if I were to encounter another Persian, it's safe to assume it has Wonder Guard as well, right? Mm -hmm. Is it? Exactly. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't know, so that's why I'm asking. No, you're, you're correct. You're correct. All right, buddy. So I'm... I'm um, but, uh, yeah, it, it was crazy, dude. It was wild. I, I still can't believe that, man. Uh, so, yeah, I'm probably going to have... I'm legitimately... First, I'm going to take them on one at a time because I have to. Otherwise, I'll just straight up get massacred again. And uh, two, I have to evolve my Primplup into an Empoleon in order to have a chance. <laughs> you're not wrong. I saw that. Because now it's like I'm not even. I'm concerned that maybe close combat won't kill, and I have a dread plate as well. It's like, bro, what the heck is that nonsense? Also, I have the feeling unless you're already at the top of the tower, uh, I'm probably gonna go past five five minute mark. So, uh, no. because it's uh, 20, 21 minutes and fifteen seconds left. But anyways, mm -hmm. um, I'm still not at the top. Yeah. I'm just not at the top. I'll try my best. No, you just though. now got to the top. Nope, I'm getting encounters. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's why. Gotcha. Well, I failed my encounter in the tower, so. No, I mean, like, I'm not getting encounters. I'm running into Pokemon. That's what I was trying to say. And I get paralyzed. Uh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Why? Gotcha. It's prolonging uh, my life. Also, uh, but yeah, other than that, like, that, that was just crazy, dude. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, the fact that you got crit, I said? found that hilarious. <laughs> I don't no, think yeah, it mattered. The crit was unfortunate. I don't think it may have mattered, but it's still a thing, right? Uh, no, most, most chances are extremely high the crit definitely mattered. And especially from full, too. Dude, it's wild. By the way, Moxie Magby is a thing, so um, that's Ooh. that's scary. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of scared of that. Oh that's my pretty god! Cool. Yo, imagine if Zap Cannon's cool. like accuracy was like 200, and I mean his accuracy Dude. was uh 100, but its base power is like 200. How ridiculous! Then that you would you would win the game. <laughs> you would literally win the game, dude. Like, well, I if just you had that, you would live the game. If you had to take that, you would lose. Um, let's see here. 20 minute warning now. So let me know whenever you get to the top of the tower and I can start moving again. Oh, okay. Oh my um, god, this bank. But yeah, going on too. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Uh, but anyways, uh, do you want to talk about the direct? Have you seen the direct? Right yeah, there? I, I had a chance earlier on today. They to made watch Cyrus it. a waifu. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? They made Cyrus. They, no, like Cyrus has a. Cyrus. It's like Cyrus is like great, 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 great grandmother or something. I don't know. But basically, yeah, she, the Cyrus, it's basically Cyrus, like, if she, if, if he was a good person and also a woman. Where did I miss that? It's funny. It's in the, it's in the, um, it's in the, uh, Legends Arceus trailer. Oh, like oh, oh, to. oh, you're talking about her? Oh, cause you, yeah, I thought you Cyrus were talking about Diamond and Pearl. Oh, no, no, no. Diamond and Pearl, it's, it's Cyrus. So... Oh, I don't care. I, what if the goal of Legends Arceus is to is to murder Cyrell? That'd be funny. Okay, but if she emotes, also you can die in Pokemon Breath of the Wild. What? Hey, yo, Goki, if she a milf, that's, that's crazy, all that dude. matters to me. I I aim for hyper realism in my Pokemon games. 
But no, they like legit. That's actually really freaking cool, though. <laughs> that's really freaking cool. Oh, by the way, I, I since ever since looking at the um the direct, I, I have mixed feelings now about Diamond and Pearl now. I'm not gonna you have lie. Mixed to you. feelings now. Dang. Like, Why do you have mixed feelings? I don't know. It's just I'm not that intrigued by it anymore. Like maybe it's because yeah, I that's fair. I was watching this one YouTuber, uh, Tyranna, uh, Tyranna Tube, I think it's called. Oh yeah, he's been crapping on the games. He's yeah, so I got his perspective, but now that I look at it and like look at the difference between they way they went into Diamond and Pearl, like remakes compared to Arceus, like there wasn't much of like changes if that makes any sense. Yeah, like I, I guess think that the... was kind of the point with this one because um, yeah, like for Oras they basically just made it Gen Six. Which I didn't like. I hated. I did not like that. I didn't get Oras, uh, but I just didn't like the uh, the art change. I, I thought I thought it looked terrible, personally. So gotcha. I never got Oras because of that. I personally would much rather have the. It, which is why it amazes me that people are like, "Oh my gosh, Oras looks so much better." I'm like, "No, you're just no. How's that? How?" Like, I thought I, Oras. I personally was, thought it looked uh, ugly. Good. I personally thought Oras. I personally think like Gen Six doesn't look good, like graphic wise. Personally, I don't think it looks great. I think people overhype it. I, I, uh, I by the way, have you gotten out of the tower yet? No, nah, not even at the top, dude. I've been, Dang, dude, dude, I've been paralyzed, dude. dude. I, I'm not lying when I was. Dude, been... heal yourself, then use a paralyzed heal. I, I don't even move. have paralyzed heals on me. I want to move, Gizmo. Yo, I'm doing my <laughs> best here. I'm literally doing my best here. Oh my god, but yeah, no, it, the both games look a lot better than their than the than the first trailers. So I guess the great. only thing I find interesting about the game that I feel like I guess it's worth getting. Uh, it's the Pokemon contest, like the little designs they added onto it. I thought that was pretty cool. But other than that, I mean, I'm... the Pokemon contest. Yeah, basically like... what I saw is just gonna be the dancing aspect, and that upsets me. <laughs> I oh really? I thought that's kind of cool, like a small feature. Well, yeah, that was in the original game. You could dance in the original. No, game. No, I mean like in terms of they, graphics. You could dress up your Pokemon. You could do moves. like in terms of I, models it's... are more three D than two D. You know, just. Gizmo. Yeah, that's cool. That that part is cool. That's the only part that's cool about the contest. And but like, I'm you gonna, could I'm decorate gonna be, the. I'm gonna be balls. really upset if they take out if they take out the move segment and they take out the dressing up segment. If they take out both of those segments for the contest, I will be upset. I will be upset. That will make me sad. As a contest connoisseur, that would make me very sad. And then in terms Personally. of the Wi-Fi, I don't know. I think I just saw a little bit of this, so I'm not really too familiar how the that's Wi-Fi is the exact same as the, um, the as the original games, where you like go into the Pokemon Center and then no, I mean like, in terms room. of Pokemon because you won't even have access to like uh, are you talking about the underground, the Pokemon Bank until or what was it called now? The Pokemon Bank. The Pokemon Bank's out now. No, 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 Bank. not the Pokemon Bank. Uh, Diamond, uh, Shining Diamond, and uh, what, what? I forget which one. Brilliant Diamond, Diamond and Shining Pearl. Pearl won't have That's access the name of our to Pokemon Home. <laughs> it won't yeah. have access until 2022. Oh, well, I mean, that's fine. Either so I'm to, assuming like, the, the mainstream Wi-Fi battles are still going to be in. Uh, They're not doing ranked. You can battle people, but you can't do ranked. And also, to be fair, like, what Pokemon are you going to get in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl that you're not going to be able to get in Sword and Shield? Yeah. Like, you'll, get, you'll have more of an option because I think... I think if I remember correctly, they're bringing back the full decks for Sinnoh. Uh, like they're not they? not like the not like all eight hundred and whatever Pokemon, but um, like all the Pokemon up to Gen four, Gen one through four. With the Pokemon, all the Pokemon in the original games are going to be in uh, uh, Diamond and Pearl, Brilliant gotcha. Diamond and Pearl, I should say. Okay. So. And I'm not really that hype about yeah. it, uh, but I am excited. And also, I have been new watching Tyranitar. Personally, I've been watching Tyranitar Tube. Um, at least his take on it. All I know is that all I've noticed is that he's just been really crapping on it, and people have been giving him crap for it. That's all I've noticed. It's like, oh come on, you're just finding stuff to complain about. So, but, you know. I, I guess personally, I'm extremely hyped for it. I think it looks good. I think it looks really great. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to play through. Gotcha. The only thing I, I guess obviously, the other it, thing obviously that was it doesn't trump Legends Arceus, but true, um, true, true. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I found cool is. I guess it's what the little hideout and the Orberg mines, like those little hideouts. Yeah, the underground. That's another. That's another thing from the original. Yeah, they're basically doing like a really faithful remake. I'm hoping they add a couple of new things, but I'm worried they're not, and it makes me sad. But Wait, it wasn't that a new thing? Or, oh, well, I haven't no, really. That's not played. a new thing. The the okay, the wild Pokemon areas in the underground is new. Yeah, but like the underground. Oh. The underground itself is not new. Okay, I thought that was. But basically, it's like you can play like capture the flag. You can go around mining for fossils and gemstones. You can exchange for items. It's really cool. It's a lot. It's like, it's like basically a whole mini game down there, and you can like interact with other people. 
through the Wi-Fi. It's it's really cool. Love Mal. Okay, I never actually went through that. <laughs> so, so you see, I haven't played. Yeah, no, Dynamo I never Pro did like either. That. I never did either. So I'm excited that they're bringing it back because I can finally experience it. Yeah, so. but like, I don't know. I mean, it's good. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say it's a bad game because I'm still gonna play it regardless. So. I mean, I was gonna say you can't say it's a bad game if you haven't played it yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, personally, me and uh, Sinnoh is not my favorite generation. So. Yes. It is not my favorite me. generation. That offends me. Gizmo, how are we friends? How could you do that? How could you betray me like this? Gizmo anything so but uh, anything but Sinnoh. Just anything but Sinnoh. Okay, I, I well, think... I know it's because you hate the slowness. I know it's because you hate the slowness. That's the the only thing, I, I will give it a positive on the game. They change the experience bar. Uh, they changed the experience bar. I can finally see. Because I, 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 I wasn't lying to you, Goki. I am a little bit uh, colorblind between dude, you're, uh, bright you're colors. Blind. You're just blind, dude. You're just blind. You're and just like blind. over there, it's you like very it small, yet, and you could see it. I, I just need two more trainers, and then I'm at the top. Oh my god, Gizmo. You wasted half of the episode. <laughs> da -da -da. Come on. Literally half the episode's gone by. <laughs> what the heck, man? That is your punishment. All right, all right. I'll move yeah. up. God dang. All right, there. All right, yeah. Nah. But yeah, no, so, so, uh, yeah, I, I never, I love Gen 3, right? I love Gen 3, but I never got Oras just because of, like, the, like, I personally was not a massive fan of the graphics. Gotcha. And then also because I was poor, but that's besides the point. I, at that point, I was saving up for a Switch, I think. I can't remember exactly, but I, yeah, I think at that point when Oras got, it came out, I was saving up for a Switch, but, oh. uh, or, well, something. I was doing something, I don't know what I was doing, but I... It was also like, I, like I still think like I'm still amazed that people are like, oh, I wish Diamond, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl were like Oras. I'm like, no, I would have hated that. Like that, oh, would, really? that would have looked. Do you really think you want? You really want Gen Six graphics when you could have had like, like I get wanting like Gen Seven or Sword and Shield. Like that would have looked good. But and like admittedly, that's what I would have hoped for too. Besides, the, instead of the Chibi, but the Chibi looks way better than Gen Six personally. Oh, man. So, I, if I'm completely honest, I'm never gonna like, understand people who say that. It's just like, hold on a second. Is Gen Six gonna turn into? Oh, Gen Six is the good old days. Is that what's gonna happen now? I'm gonna that, be real. Gonna be I don't trend? remember the graphics from Oras. I think once I it's like, they're okay. They're okay. I'd say that's the weakest among. I think I'd say it's objectively probably the weakest. Yeah, I mean that's my opinion. But you know. Oh, by the way, Gen Six is probably the weakest. The only thing that's Again, against. This, I mean, to be fair, this is coming from the guy who didn't like the Gen Five graphics either. But still, uh, Gen Five is that? That's Unova, right? That's Unova, yeah. Yeah, I didn't like Unova. Personally, like, there are some areas that I liked, but, like, there's a lot of areas in Gen 5, like, the Unova games, where I'm like, ugh, this looks weird. <laughs> Goki, I'm it, sorry. It just looks so bland, in a way. It's weird. It looks Goki. bland. It looks dark. It just looks dull. I don't mean it's to interrupt you, Goki, colorful. but I'm so sorry, man. I am so sorry. Wait, what? I've been, I've been having more hazards in this run than I've had the first oh time around God. on this area. Are you out yet? No. Oh I'm... my god. <laughs> dude, when you dude, see this recording, I'm not episode. lying to you, dude. There's so much hazards on my end. I'm missing. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I should have just taken the five minutes. There's okay. So much hazards. I've literally been sitting here for 15 minutes. Should I start moving at this point? Okay, just like, start I moving. I don't know. Just start moving. Just start just, moving. Okay, do I have your permission to start moving? Yeah, just start moving. Just start All moving. right, five, four, three... Two, one. All right, start I'm gonna start moving. moving. Yeah, I'm gonna start moving. <laughs> start moving. Just start moving. I wasted 15 minutes. Okay, I think that's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's funny. That's true. That's true. But um, that's out funny. of the whole entire direct, there's like other stuff like side games, Pokemon Master Quest that I used yeah, to play. Yeah, like the Pokemon. Masters I used to play like that. that. Uh, but then afterwards, I was playing like another similar gacha game, and I was just like, nah, I don't want to. I'm not in the mood for Pokemon Master Quest. I really wish they still had Pokemon Duel. It makes me sad they don't have that anymore. I'm uh, not gonna lie. Oh, there's actually, uh, before we move on to like uh, the, what's it called? The RCS stuff. Uh, there is some new stuff on Unite, which I found it ironic to see Mamoswine and Sylveon. I didn't see that. I thought coming. that was really cool. I know Monk's really happy about that. Monk is so happy to see that. Oh, really? Yeah, Monk really. Monk apparently, apparently, Mamoswine was one of Monk's preferred. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like he wanted to see Mamoswine, which, which should be fair. Mamoswine's a cool addition, and Sylveon. Although now we have like three fairy types, that's probably all three of them are going to be supporters. Wigglytuff, uh, Bl well, now actually, Blissey's a normal type, but still, Blissey's kind of a fairy 
I guess. I could kind of see it offensive, though. What, what was that move? I can like, see it that offensive, but it'll be interesting to see what Sil- I'm wondering if Sylvan will be like... Oh, by the way, I caught the spin rack. It'll be interesting to see if spin rack will... Or, oh, my God. Uh, okay, I'm naming you Derek. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how Sylveon plays. I'm, I'm thinking it maybe it'll be like uh, cross the work and be both offensive and defensive. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Because you see sure. offensive shell smash and defensive stealth rock sets. It's really cool. Uh, by the way, is there any news on the Blastoise? Uh, on that? No, I think that, like, most people were expecting that to be the next, uh, next one. Most people were expecting that to be the next, uh, selection from Pokemon instead of a Blissey. People were surprised to see Blissey first. Oh, yeah, because I was uh, talking... By the way, I caught the Spinarak. Do you want to switch out the Spinarak for Articuno? Do you want to switch out the, man- the Wormadam? Nah. Nine pair, or do you want to... Nah, okay. let's just have it as a backup pair, back. to be honest. Cool, 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 cool. All right, we have a, we have a good backup pair in that case. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Oh, so, yeah, um, Blastoise. So, I was telling Monk, so... If you play Unite, you know that little mission, like where you got Crustle from. Uh, yeah, the the seven day thing or whatever it was. Yeah, the seven days. Yeah, and missions. then you know how it gives you like an amount of period, like twenty one days or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. So what I told Mong is like I play Gacha games, and I don't know, it might not work the same way here, but I have a feeling that the next Mon that's gonna be available will be at the end of that period and once it gets a reset. So a new mon, that's how you want to mm-hmm. unlock new Pokemon licenses, which I wouldn't put it past it. It'd be an interesting thing to see. Yeah, I mean, Pokemon has done stuff like that before, so yeah, I wouldn't put it past them either. So, I mean, I mean, Maybe either fair. that or you just buy them from the shop, which honestly, <laughs> I've been playing Unite. I have not been playing Unite like for like two weeks now. I haven't, I haven't been playing it for a bit either. I played it more, but like I would have played it last night, for example, but we were recording Soul Link, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we were recording Soul Links. I was like, frick it, well, let's get this done. Let's get this Soul Link done. Because I knew, like, if we don't get it done this week, we're not going to get the Soul Link done. We, like, knowing us, we're not going to get the Soul Link done. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is my only it's like, oh, let's It's like, okay, let's just get it done now. Yeah, so I'm putting my best effort and uh, as much time as I can into the series right now. Try to get as much recording. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes uh, sense, yeah. But yeah, uh, Unite, I don't know. It's It was, like, kind of my thing. But then, I don't know. It was just... We never played a game together, Gizmo. We need to play a game together. True, Have true, we played true. a game together? True, true. But some people get super competitive, and it's just like... Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. Like, I've, like, I've, I've met a lot of people that get competitive. It's bad. Like, I'm, it's I'm not bad. the one to bad. name people, but there's a lot of people that are competitive out there. I know, I'm just I, like, I know. I know a couple. Of the, I think I know a couple of people that you're talking about. I mean, I can be fairly competitive, but I mostly play casual, too. I Mostly, it's just whenever I want to pick it up and play it, basically. Yeah. So it's just like I play so, every once like in a while. It, it's cool. Like some people, some people want to get better at the game. That's really cool. But like I'm expert rank right now. I'm chilling. So <laughs> I'm still like I want. I want to try to get the masters, but I doubt I will at this point. I'm but, barely in like know. great number one or whatever. Great ball <laughs> two or three. Dang. Yeah, I don't play the Bruh, game. Bro, you a, a lot. scrub. Nah, I just got all the missions on. Even though <laughs> I've been playing the game, I just did like the basic ones so though. Like all the other mm. ones. The general stuff. Gotcha. Get as many licenses as I can. So I think I've gotten all the licenses you really can get in this game. Aside uh, from the paid how many ones. Do you have? Aside from the paid ones. I'm talking uh, about like free to play ones. Gotcha. Because I even if you play up to now and you've been playing nonstop, I doubt you'll accumulate enough coins to get all the. No, you can. You can get, if you save up your coins, you can commute. No, I mean like at fast. this point in time, I know like if you've been playing for all the weeks, I doubt you will oh. still have enough point, <sighs> coins to get every single. Uh, I mean, as long as you don't spend it on items, as long as you don't spend it on items, I think you can still do it. And you, like spend a lot of time throughout the day doing it. By the time in the morning as well. Yeah, because don't you get only like. Um, what's it call it like ten three thousand per week so if you do the no. math or three thousand well, you get them from doing unite battles as well you don't get many but you get them through unite battles too yeah so you get like and you, can get them, you can get them through unite battles you can get them through um i think you can exchange for tickets at the store you can uh i, I may be wrong with that you can um get them through battles you can get them through there you can uh do missions that should be able to allow you to do to, to get them i'm pretty sure yeah. But no, no, there's ways you can get them, for sure. Yeah, because right now, I think I could barely even get one, like, out of the expensive, because, like, the expensive get, ones are, couple. like, 10,000. I think there's, like, two of them at 10,000, so you would need 20,000 Yeah, there's a couple of them at 10,000, yeah. And then the I rest are, like, 8, 11 or 12, I think, out of, like, the bunch with, like, 17 or something like that. Gotcha. The one and I was actually actually interested in the direct was, like, how do you... So is the Pikachu only applicable to mobile, or is it also... 
because they're getting I a free copy of Pikachu. I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure on that one. So I really, I was curious about that. You know, I kind of want a Pikachu. Yeah, I'm not any sure, licenses. honestly. <laughs> I'm not sure. Trying to get as many licenses out there. Just for the heck yeah, of baby. it. Yeah, baby. And then just play casual just with the heck people. Of it. <laughs> yeah. I've but just I... been chilling, honestly. I've just been enjoying the game. So. Gotcha. But yeah. the one game I actually am super thrilled about is that RPG Arceus, man. It is so... Dude, that's going to be so much fun. That's going to be a lot. It's Breath of the Wild, the Pokemon. Exactly. Like, that's literally what it is. And it's going to be so much fun to do. It feels so... Uh, so I've been reading a lot of light novels. And it feels so, like, isekai, man. Like, the the time period before Sinnoh was, like, what it is today. Yeah. And everything, yeah. the elders, you got the scouters, the ones that are scavenging, and like before, like Pokemon's uh, didn't interact with the humans for whatever reason yeah. during that time period. So Isekai, like, <laughs> so like, oh my yeah. god, it's so, I can't wait to play that. Like my heart yeah, out. Yeah, no, it's gonna be exciting. But the only thing what that Pokemon sucks that, that I hate up. What was that? Uh, what I was I was asking, what Pokemon did you want to choose as your starter? What was it? The, uh, what were the options? I forget. Uh, Cyndaquil, Rallid, and Oshawott. Uh, <laughs> you don't know. I love Cyndaquil. Uh, I love Typhlosion. That's fair. And then I also love uh, Decidueye. Uh, That's fair. I'd probably go with fire types, so. If I'm yeah. honest. I don't know, because I love all three of them, too. I'm, I'm leaning. It's either going to be Cyndaquil or Oshawott. I know that for a fact. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one of the two one of the two but all the animation and everything i feel like it's fine <laughs> and like with those little uh like it looks those, a lot better and with the art styles oh my god man, that so, looks so good that is so i mean i haven't played it's breath so of the good. wild so i don't know how familiar it is in terms of the mechan game mechanics and everything it looks really similar it, like it reminds me very much of breath of the wild which makes sense because breath of the wild is like one of the most successful zelda games ah. it, it makes sense and it's like People who have people like Pokemon fans have been hoping for a game like that for like a long time, so it only mm -hmm. made sense that it was going to happen eventually. I think it just surprised people that it was even happening. Like just the fact that it exists is mind blowing. I feel like the it's closest like... game that was like that was Poke Park, if I'm wrong. Yeah, actually, I think that's, that's the closest. Kind of accurate. That's kind of accurate. That was like probably the it's closest. It's not exactly like that because there's no humans. There's no free roaming humans. But yeah, it's very much. That's that's probably the closest we've ever gotten before now. To, yeah, when it gets like that to, open like, world aspect. Game. When it gets that yeah, open world aspect. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's really true. I can't think of another Pokemon game that kind of does that. Actually, too. I mean, Pokemon Pokemon Ranger kind of does that, but not in the same way. Pokemon really? Ranger does it. Yeah, Pokemon Ranger is kind of like that, where it's like you run around and you, like, you befriend Pokemon by doing loops with the stylus and stuff. Wasn't it's that fun. on the DS version, though? It's a lot of though? fun. It's a really fun game. It's on the DS, yeah. The, like, there's three Pokemon Ranger games. Uh, okay. Um, there's like Pokemon, I think it's just called Pokemon Ranger, Pokemon Ranger, Shadows of Almia, and then there's one more Pokemon Ranger that I can't remember the name of. Uh, I played Shadows of Almia, that's the only one I've ever played. I haven't even played Coliseum, now that I, I, I heard something Shadow, and I was just thinking about the Shadow Lugia I from Coliseum. I haven't played that one yet, I haven't played that one, I never owned a GameCube. Oh, 28 seconds by the way, oh god. <laughs> Alright, I'm in a match. Are you out of the tower yet, by the way? What's up? Are you out of the tower yet? Oh, I've been out of the tower, I'm just grinding. Okay, I mean grinding. <laughs> grinding. Grinding, yes. grinding. I'm just grinding my uh, um, version. What the cause... frick does that mean? What is grinding me, sir? You got me kind of scared. You got me kind of spooked, Goki. Eight, you got seven, me. You got me hella spooked from that nine, trainer battle. Ten, ten, two, one. Blast burn Kadabra. Whoa! All right. All right, we're done. All right I'm still in the battle, but I'll end it off here. I'm in the battle too. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Alrighty. <laughs> So, if you guys enjoyed this episode, then smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. That will motivate me more to actually start being consistent with this series. If I haven't what? already. What? <laughs> Lol. What? That's crazy, dude. Also, also make sure to subscribe to Goki Keep Gamer going. as the next episode will be on his channel. So, yeah, yeah definitely um, follow him and all the social media, which will be all linked up in the description below. And so, Goki, yeah, any last minute words? Um, I'm going to get an Empoleon in the next level, and I will be able to take on the Cresselia. There you go. So me and Goki are neck on neck. I'm still grinding a little bit more extra just because of what he's facing in the next episode. And I want to get be prepared as much as possible. And with be that being prepared. said, that is your boy, Gizmo Jax. And I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Peace out, mates. Woo.